2018 Volkswagen Arteon. Making amends for bad behavior, Volkswagen tries truth and beauty, emphasis on beauty. Specifications Vehicle type Front engine, front or all-wheel drive, 5-passenger, 4-door hatchback. Estimated base price $36,000 to $40,000. Engine type Turbocharged and intercooled DOC 16 valve inline 4, iron block and aluminum head, direct fuel injection. Displacement 121 cu in, 1984 cubic centimeters. Power, C slash DEST. 270 HP. Torque, C slash DEST. 280 LBFT. Transmission. 8 speed automatic with manual shifting mode. Dimensions. Wheelbase. 111.6 in. Length, 191.1 in. Width, 73.0 in height, 55.8 in. Curb weight, C slash DEST 3400 to 3500 pounds. Performance, C slash DEST. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 5.6 to 5.7 SEC. 0 to 100 miles per hour, 14.1 to 14.2 SEC. Standing 1 fourth mile, 14.2 to 14.3 SEC. Top speed, 155 miles per hour. Fuel economy, C slash DEST. EPA combined slash city slash highway driving, 24-25-21-22-29 MPG Phonetically, Volkswagen's new flagship is ART on, philosophically, it's ART plus three letters tagging along for the ride. Think of it as the RD one and you'll mispronounce it but nail the idea. Does a market crazy for crossovers and pickups need a high-style hatchback sedan on a rescue mission? No but this Passat Plus Stormtrooper should be an effective means of shifting the brand from defense to offense. Even though the camouflage won't be stripped off until next spring's Geneva Auto Show, Ardeon prototypes we drove in South Africa convince us that VW is resuming a fruitful path. Peering beneath the surface X-raying the thin layer of disguise, we saw automotive beauty in the flesh. A low hood sweeps the full width of the front tires. At the front, six horizontal blades in the grille and wraparound headlamps further accent the Arteon's width, while five longitudinal creases per side draw the eye rearward over sculpted vertical surfaces and the low greenhouse. Frameless door glass, muscled haunches, a spoiler neatly blended into the hatch's trailing edge, and sequential rear turn signals make the RD on the sexiest people's car since the Carmen Ghia. Previewing its arrival, VW teased us with a sports coupe concept to supersede the CC, Ne Passat CC, at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show, which, like the CC, had four doors in contravention of the coupe nomenclature. Without traipsing heavily on Audi A5 and A7 turf, Designers have towed the line between beauty and functionality to sculpt this affordable Grand Tourer, which we're guessing will have a base price around $36,000. Likely foes include the Buick LaCrosse, the Nissan Maxima, and the Toyota Avalon. Let's hope that hatchback haters try the Arteon's back seat, where we found near limo grade space for three adults. Before turning attention in the traditional sedan direction, Skeptics also need to consider the 60 cubic feet of cargo space available when the split rear backrests are folded. Impeccable driving manners. Like everything in VW showrooms between Golf and Passat, the Arteon shares the MQB transverse powertrain components set. That's no bad thing because an intense focus on one basic chassis moves the needle another notch toward perfection with every iteration. Rough South African roads didn't quiver the body structure in the prototypes we drove, 
and suspension calibrations capably eased longitudinal impact pain without wilting under substantial cornering loads. Thanks to the calming effect of the Arteon's electrically assisted power steering, rippled gravel surfaces severe enough to skate the sedan wide in turns never shot up the steering column to inflict wheel kick. Runs over 100 mph on paved roads revealed directional stability American Samoa straight and taut as a banjo string. Turn-in was crisp and confident. While one Eurospec Arteon we drove on this coarse textured pavement showed annoying tire tread buzz and interior boom, that behavior largely disappeared when we switched into the U.S. Market Edition equipped with all-season Continental 245-45 R18 radials. Electronically variable dampers what VW calls dynamic chassis control can be switched through comfort, normal, sport, and individual modes. While calibrations aren't finalized and there's no guarantee these dampers will even be available on U.S. Spec Arteons, our past experience with this Tineco supply technology has been so positive that we consider it essential gear for driving enthusiasts. Given VW's lead in the global rush to small hard-working engines, it's no surprise that the Arteon's initial power source will be a TSI 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged to produce about 270 horsepower. Customer feedback from today's dual-clutch automatic-equipped VW CC says that such transmissions lack the expected roll-off smoothness. For that reason, the Arteon's trusty TSI engine will be teamed solely with an 8-speed torque converter automatic supplied by Eisen. That gearbox behaved impeccably in Africa. In lieu of a manual alternative, last available in the 2016 cubic centimeters, we at least get steering wheel paddles, a console shifter offering a manual mode, and a gear indicator in the instrument cluster. Try as we might, we discovered no way to avoid automatic upshifts when the tachometer needle swung past 6200 or so RPM during our test drives. Inside impressions. What we could see of the, camouflaged, interior trim was encouraging. Wood accents aren't genuine tree material, but they look the part. Stitching appears on the two-tone, leather-trimmed seats but not across dashed top surfaces. The front bucket bolsters are firm enough to hold well-nourished occupants in place during aggressive maneuvers. There's a centrally located 9.2-inch touchscreen program to respond to voice commands, a few hand gestures, and two ordinary knobs. A wealth of contemporary driver aids and convenience features Park Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Keeping, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay will grace this cockpit, the double-length stacking sunroof we noticed in Africa should be on the US. Options List what you probably won't find is a switch to fully disable stability control. The Arteon casts a shadow about the same size as the Passat's, so we're expecting it to weigh about 3,400 pounds. The acceleration and passing enthusiasm we saw across the South African plain was adequate, but, as usual, we'd take more verve. Sharing that opinion with the VW engineers lit them up. One advised that this iteration of MQB is not only compatible with V6 engines, one such car in the African test fleet had already topped 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour. While we were tempted to pummel this fellow about the head and shoulders for not including that Arteon on our drive, we restrained ourselves in the interests of decorum. U.S. spec Arteon speed limiters will cap the fun at 155 miles per hour. All that's stopping VW from eventually adding a V6 and a discrete GT badge or R's label is a business case, and, possibly, a hall pass from Audi, which might not want a budget alternative to its S5. Now that Ford's Fusion Sport has cracked the 300 HP barrier in the family sedan category, we believe VW customers deserve all the German engineering they can get in the brand's most elegant model.